Hello, this is Steve the Toolmeister, and I am showing off my collection of large um, Swiss Army knives today. Um, the first, and I've left a bunch of them closed, just showing the differences, um, especially the differences on the um, Evolution Grip S54, that's this guy right here, uh, which is kind of a holdover from the, the Winger um, merger with Victoria Knox. So you've all seen the Champ. Uh, this is a Traveler. A Traveler is kind of like a mini Champ, um, but has a multi-purpose um, LCD in it, and the LCD includes the time, um, your elevation, okay, which, and barometer, and it shows the trend. Is it level? Is it up, down, so on and so forth? It doesn't actually show the barometric pressure. Um, a, a alarm clock and an alarm, uh, and then two kinds of a, a stopwatch and um, uh, this one right here is a short-term alarm. So you want to set it for 15 minutes where you're cook baking cookies or something. All right, um, and then that's a stopwatch. Then, uh, oh, and the temperature, 79 degrees Fahrenheit in my shop right now. Uh, the bottom of it looks very much like a um, a Champ, a Swiss Champ. Um, has the same stuff as a Swiss Champ. And uh, it comes with uh, uh, special scales. And this scale has everything on one side. It has the toothpick the pressurized uh, pin and the uh, tweezer. And of course it's got the uh, special stainless steel needle slash pin. Um, one of my favorites to carry. It's, it's a little bit smaller than a, ch than a champ and uh, has a lot, of, a lot of the same tools. So, but uh, there's, there's only one blade, um, no, there's two blades. But and it's got a light, okay. So it's a it's one of two of my things that have a, have a light. I've shown the other one um, before, um, but it's pull the button, turns on, it's bright, and push the button, and it turns off. Takes two batteries, and you raise it up like a blade to get at the battery change. So let's put this guy out of the way. Okay. Very nice. I like it. And I really want to talk about this guy. Today. And this guy is got all these blades open because they're different. Oh, wait, wait, you see, this has got a big blade. How's that different? Ah, pretty interesting. It's got a lock. So if I open it fully, I have to press that lock with your thumb to close it. And I don't like the lock. It's a to me, it's a good place to get hurt. Um, the bottom is very plain. It doesn't have the hook. It doesn't have the chisel. It doesn't have the small screwdriver. Uh, it just has a corkscrew. There's no needle. Um, corkscrew and a, a awl. So it has this special ruler that is a hopeless, I mean literally hopeless, compass. Okay. Um, don't like that that blade's a waste but instead of having a small blade it's got a fingernail tool which i really like it's also got this cool spanner i'm gonna push it out of the way it'll take up to about uh, 716 chance nut it has a funky spring for the scissors that is based on the uh and there's nothing you can do to to actuate the scissors that doesn't cause the scissors blade to move. So you, one side, both sides are always moving. Um, it does have like a little serration on it, makes it cut kind of, you know, stuff that's difficult, but the spring action is a pain in the butt. Okay, so we'll close that out of the way. I uh, love this little small screwdriver, so that's why you don't have one on the back. And it's got a, a, a cool little magnifying glass uh, with an emphasis on little. Um, the reason the file is open is you can see it's cut and surface is way different than the Victoria Knox ones. 
I'll just call it the winger version. Okay. And so those are the things that are different between it and say a champ. Um, it's really thick, partially because of that, go that, that goofy plastic um, compass slash ruler. Um, and that's other than that. And I mean, I'll, I'll, put, I'll close that now and you can see how awesome, well, look how huge the gap is to, to contain it. So there's that, there's this into position, and finally the blade, which is like a guillotine when you're trying to push this uh, lock release in. Got great scales on it. Uh, has a only has a, a tweezer, toothpick, no pin. So. Um, somebody out there was going to love this just because it has a lockable blade. And I think that's okay. Somebody else is going to love this because it's got that spanner, which is really cool. Um, and, but it's big. I'm, I'm going to show you next to my champ. Let me get the champ over here. And so here's my champ. And here, let me close up all the blades on my champ. Okay, there they are together. So, there they are together. I, I, is that a pocket knife? Uh, I don't know. It's big. In fact, let's take a look at the XL, which is clearly not a pocket knife. And they are virtually the same size. Okay, so there's your XL, and there's your S54 right there. So, you know, you get what you like. This, you know, this has a, um, a bigger span on the wrench. Um, and again, it's a, you know, it's a slip joint plier. So you get, uh, and um, it has a locking blade. Uh, and I think it's probably, it's real durable. It's sharp as can be, um, but it doesn't meet my needs. So this guy's for sale. Uh, you can look on eBay, and I'll be selling it for, I hope, it's what I consider to be a, a reasonable price. It's new. I mean, never used it. It's never cut anything except probably me. So uh, there's that. And uh, if you have any questions, post them below or in the comments. And if you liked seeing this oddity, please hit the like button and subscribe. And we'll try to keep more things coming. More things uh, Swiss Army knives, more things telescopes. Uh, more things, uh, shop st stuff, including uh, metal lathes. So this cabinet, for example, is where my Unimat 3 lives. So we'll have some more uh, videos on that sort of thing. Pardon my stammering. I stuttered like a, a an old Model T trying to get started when I was a kid. So I've sort of overcome it, but not all the way. So I appreciate your indulgence. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Be well.